Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Beth and today I got off of work just a little bit early and I actually have a live sale at five o'clock. It's about 3.30, but the Goodwill up the street from my house was calling my name. So I thought I'd just dip in for just a minute. I mean, it's gonna be a super quick, super, super quick quick trip through the Goodwill. So let's go shopping and see if we can find anything to style my home or to resell on one of my platforms. Come on y'all, let's go shopping at Goodwill. Here we go into Goodwill. This is the one that is closest to my house. I'm very lucky because I have about four Goodwills all within 20 minutes. And today it looks like green is the color of the week and it is 50% off. So let's go see what we can find y'all. Starting in the back of the store and look, everything is getting cleaned up. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. So I need to take a quick look around. I actually set a timer. I set a timer because, wow, they got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I set a timer because I can't be late getting home because I have a live sale today, y'all. Hey, look at this. This is a fairy lamb and it is $4.99 yellow. $4.99 yellow, I'll take it. Here is another bag. This is the Cheshire Cat. This is a bag full of cats and animals, but not at $9.99. My music box is cute. It's not marked Hummel or anything. It's not even marked Japan. It is too. Always a quick thing on the books because I'm always looking for goldenrod books to make the journals, but most of the time the goldenrod books are really, really expensive. So like this is purple. And this is $1.99. I don't know about y'all, leave me a comment below, but I just think $1.99 at Goodwill is too expensive for these books. Now, honestly, I should probably go into the bins because they're like three for a dollar or something like that there. So I think I need to take a trip to the bins. We are going around the corner because they have a whole bunch of bins here. This is the newer stuff that they are putting out. And this was, oh, what is this? Let's see if I can get it out. Look at that cute little music box. It doesn't close. Let me see if it works. Hmm. So it does look like that it works. Um, let's see, it's cute. Dashing through the snow maybe. I think it's cute. It does need to be cleaned up a bit. It is in its box. It is $6 yellow, so $5.99 yellow on there. That's cute. Huh? I do see this here, but I do not see a lid with that. It is cute though. But I need to find a lid with it. This one is a vintage ashtray, it looks like. It's $2.99, made in Japan. This basket, this is a really nice little wire basket, but I don't need them. And they do have some brand new clear packs of labels. But I don't need those either. Hmm. Let's see what we can find. Again, the shelves are, they must be revamping something. It's going to be a super quick trip mainly because I have a live sale in just a few um, and also it looks like their inventory is super low at this store. I just don't understand. We had a whole bunch of stuff here the other day but maybe they are cleaning out. Interactive story buddy. I don't know anything about that. There's a first Easter basket and there's a baby. I was just looking around, see if maybe there were different plushies. I don't normally pick up plushies. I've been picking up some plushies. This is cute. This is a rabbit from Build-A-Bear. Um, they don't have it marked 
at all. So I would not ask. I'm just not one of those people, y'all. I'm not going to ask if it's not marked. What else do they have? Oh, goodness, he's fun. What is that? This is, I don't know, but it's fun. I did comp that kind of tie-dyed bunny, and I'll put the comp on the front. It doesn't go for much um, sold-wise, and it looks like it had a dress, but this is a cute little lampshade. If I had a lamp for this that. lamp was here the other day. I just don't have a way to test it. It is $7.99, and it is purple, but... Oh, there is a light bulb in there. I don't like the shade on that at all. But I always need lamps in the booth, so maybe I should try to plug it in. Okay, danger, Will Robinson, because I did plug that in, and as soon as I did, it shorted out a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, about that. This table, the glass table, it's so low, though. I mean, I know it's a coffee table. But, hmm, it's $39.99. It does not have a color on the tag. I actually need a bookcase in the shop. This is $24.99 um, for this bookcase, but it does not have a color on it. So maybe they're not putting colors on their furniture anymore. I don't know. Not a whole lot to look at here today i feel like they are revamping rearranging cleaning out um so i'm actually even looking at the sheets and things these are older it's a pillowcase this reminds me of tammy y'all that is so soft she likes old sheets too this is a king flat sheet it's an orange tag, but gosh, that is so, so soft. I don't even know how much sheets are. And there is one of these. I think, is this a curtain? I can't remember. I've seen this before. I can't remember what that is, though. That reminds me of Tammy, too. Vintage Uprising Texas. She loves these colors like this. That's super cute. It's a pillowcase. Okay. I lied. It's a pillowcase. It's supposed to be fish. Are these supposed to be fish? Salt pepper shakers? I don't know, but I want to see this little teapot over here. Way over here. It's $3.99. Doesn't have a maker mark on there. It's a cute little teapot. It's a teeny one. I'd have to see if it was broken anywhere. It's very light. This is very, very light. I like the flower design on that. So I might have to take this tape off so I can see if there are any cracks or chips in the lid. Let's see. Hold on, put the camera down. There are cracks in this y'all, but I'm, it's so thin wonder if it's decorative purposes only. Let me know in the comments if you think this is for decorative purposes only. Now it is $3.99. I do see these um, bowls, these little rice bowls. Those are cute too. It's a super cute a little bird. It says it's a set of two. It's got a lot of crazing in it. Um, oh no, the wing is broken. That so is another little teapot. This is a shorter little teapot. This one's $2.99. And a Minnie Mouse plate. That's also here. It's for not a, a luster teapot. That green is beautiful. This is Grace and Teaware. And I don't know, it's $8. It's a bit much, Goodwill. Bit much. Yes, a bit much. Now, I did see this a minute ago, but it looks like it's missing the other side of this up there. So, I did think that was cute. And this looks like a little um, two-piece. You see, it goes like this. That's like a little village, but they're like tea light candle holders or something. So, here's a pumpkin. I don't need a pumpkin right now. 
These are made in China. They're pretty. They're just made in China. Yes. They're little Lefton Bell. It is a 50th anniversary Lefton Bell. I wish this bag was not so expensive because they've got two brass pieces in there and they've got some dogs and stuff, but I don't know how many of the things would be broken. This is a little like gnome or elf. And this is gift shop, farmer's market. Kind of has a wade. It does. It has like a wade resemblance to that. I might need to look into this bag for a second. Just for a bit. Because look at that, y'all. Is that a left and cat that is signed? Hold up. Let's look into this bag. It is $10. Look at this. This is another Squishmallow. I don't know what it is. Could be a hedgehog. Could be a porcupine. I don't this know. This is also a yellow tag. Because it's written on it, it's $1.99 or $2.99. Um, so I need to check into this. But I will open this bag and we will go through this at the end of this video. Let's keep shopping because my timer is ticking. I think this is Pyrex. Isn't this Pyrex? Um, yes, this is a Pyrex. This is $3.99. It does not have the little piece right here, though. It's the lemon pitcher, but it doesn't have the piece. I'll need to comp that before I decide to put it in my buggy. And what are these? These are little glass hats, but I don't know what they go to. They're darling though. This Squishmallow was part of an eight-piece set, a fifth anniversary eight-piece set. So by itself, it does not resell well like the other Squishmallows. So I am leaving this behind and I will put what the set looks like because the set looks like it is selling for like 31. So I'll put that here on the screen for you just so you can see it but i am on to comp this before i make a decision about that at four dollars i am not gonna get this either i'm putting the comps on the screen for you um and so today we are just looking around at the different things that we see in goodwill and we're looking up comps to see what would make a profitable resale and also if I would be able to use anything in my own home. I've actually been looking for some of these. These are just to wear for school when it is raining. These might be a nine. They're $13. Oof, those look comfortable. That thick sole on those. But I am looking for some rain boots. I'd like some that have some funky designs on them. Though. This, this has a very vintage vibe to it. Um, <clears throat> it's not in great shape, but I also don't know a whole lot about it. And it is $6.99. Just for funs and giggles, let's just see what we find out about it. On the screen there, I am going to put some comps of what I saw. It is a vintage luggage set, but it only had the one piece on there. So we are going to look around for just a few more minutes because I have to go home, y'all. It's time for my live sale. Let me see. I like to look in these little things as well for all kinds of fun trinkets. That I probably need to look into just a little bit. It does have the new tags on it. And I need to look it up. I hate that they write on these things. I am not going to pick this up. This is actually a new with tags. It's probably a mistake. Y'all let me know on the bottom if it is a mistake. It is a passport wallet. Um... I probably need to look at a little, little bit further. It's called a passport wallet by Toki Doki, and it is part of the Hello Kitty line, um, from my understanding. See, but I'm not 100% on that. So if you have any information about this, 
put it in the comments. And also, I think on second hand, I am going to pick this up. It is new with tags. I do not know what the price of it was. It is $5.99. I'm really going back and forth about this. This would be an online item um, simply because of the market, but I'm really strongly considering picking it up after all. I wish you were here with me so you could tell me what to do. Yeah, I really don't know if I'm going to get that or not. I haven't decided, but I did see these. These are $1.99. I don't know if they are like recipe holders or what, but they're super cute. I don't know why I'm so indecisive today. Anyone else ever go shopping and they're totally indecisive? Oh, wears me out. Now, this plate's in the wrong place, but I have vowed to not to pick up decorative plates anymore. I'm sure I've vowed to put, not pick up a lot of things, and yet I pick them up. You know, like random wooden boxes, too. So, I have no idea if I'm going to get that. I just, something tells me. Now, this I'm probably going to put back. It is $6. I do not see any comps on it. It is super cute, and I really like it and all. But, um... I, I just don't know enough about that. So if you can see, I mean, even the kids' toys, they're awfully bare, the shelves. These are the shoes that I want in my size. So that's what I'm looking for. I don't even take these at this point. So I think we are just about to finish up in Goodwill. I don't know if they're cleaning, cleaning out. I don't know what they're doing, but I am gonna put this one back in here. In line to pay, I'm gonna just get this. I just, I just gotta get it. I'm definitely gonna get this. This is, uh, I think it is $9.99 yellow. Yeah, that's $10 in itself. And then, of course, I'm gonna get the fairy lamp that I found. But that is all that I found today. Okay, y'all, we are back home. And honestly, it is a couple days later because between work and getting ready for a show and I had to go to an estate sale, I almost forgot about this. I don't know how because I think I did really well. For being in there for just a short period of time, and I only technically bought three things, but one of them that mystery bag. So uh, let's get started and I will show you that the first thing I got was the Amber Stars and Bars Fairy Lamp. Now, I think I said it was $4.99 in the video, but it was $3.99 and they did have it taped like this. Um, so I have not untaped it. Let me untape it and make sure that there is no chips or cracks in that, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I did untape it and turned it upside down. It looks like there is a little bit of paint right here, but that is easy to come off. I am feeling all around the rim of the top, stars and bars, and... I already checked this part right here and it is good to go. So I think that this fairy lamp was a steal at $3.99. Okay, the other thing that I got, you saw me go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about this, but I did end up getting the little passport wallet, even if I use it for myself. Um, but it does have a price tag on it. I can't see um, what the price was. It was from Bedrock City. It is made in China, has the original tag on it as well. It says collection is camo kawaii or kawaii, and it's a passport wallet. Um, and it's in wonderful shape, except for that Goodwill wrote here. Now, if you know how to get permanent marker off of this without kind of messing it up, let me know in the comments below. It just drives me nuts that they do this. But I thought it was super cute. Um, I guess your passport fits down in here or maybe in here, um, and then you have everything. But I did comp a few of these. Um, I did not find this exact one, but they do okay. And I am toying with the idea as I have been. I'm doing a little bit more research here and there about the eBay thing, but y'all, I just don't know if I have enough time, but something like that would be perfect for eBay. All right, y'all, let's get into this mystery bag. Now, remember, I looked at it twice. If you remember a little bit earlier in the video where I was shopping, I saw this bag and it is marked $9.99 yellow. Now, in the bag, what I could see 
was this Cheshire Cat um, piece of brass, and there's like a little house piece of brass in there. The rest of it, I wasn't sure if it's broken or pieces or whatever there was, and then I kind of saw this. Um, and I am dying to open it up. Now, it looks like somebody had already opened the bag, quite frankly. Um, so give me a second and let me free the bag so we can take everything out. Really, Goodwill? Is all of this necessary? Is it? I think not. Okay, so it is a great big bag, and I have no idea what is broken, what is not broken, or what all really is in here. Okay, I do see some of these pieces. Now, these are resin pieces, but the thing that is sticking out to me is that there is a sticker on the bottom that says, Handmade in Scotland by Border Fine Arts. Okay, I did see a couple of these pieces, and this does say Lowell Davis, maybe. Can y'all make that out? So there is like a stamp or a signature on there, and these are just some pasture sheep. Um, we also have this little dog. This, I think, what is this, y'all? Is that like a little, I have no idea what kind of dog this is. Put it in the comments below. I'm horrible with my dogs. Um, this says, oh, it's a Westie. It's a Westie puppy. It says it right there on the bottom. So this is another little resin Westie puppy. So I'm eager to see how many pieces I got. Remember, I paid $10 for this. All right, I also see, oh, a black poodle. And this says Summit Collection, City of Industry, California. So I don't know anything about these. If you know anything about the things that I am showing, please, please, please put it in the comments below. This is all new territory for me, these little figurines. I'm not a figurine collector. Um, I do like like an odd salt and pepper shaker every once in a while. Um, so, And I do recognize that this is a poodle. So let me know. They do feel resin style. All right, here is another dog. That one's cute. What is he? does say made in Japan. It also says Summit Collection, but I have no idea. He's cute though. I like his little tongue. All right. And then, oh, this is a beagle. <gasps> Look at this little beagle puppy. Look at that face, y'all. And there's nothing wrong with these. I have not found anything wrong with these so far. There's some hefty pieces. Now here is a panda bear. And I'm probably going to have to put, look, here's the little panda. It is kind of like a bisque feeling. It's just not uh, glazed. Um, he does have some markings on the bottom. Let me put my glasses on and let's see if I can read it now. It says, High Bank Porcelain, something Scotland. I never heard of that place. But it is signed right here. He is super cute, a little panda. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces so far. Oh, here's another panda. And this says, oh, this is Bessick from England. Hey, Dolores, this is Bessick. Look, and it's not Beswick, it's Bessick, I think. Um, look at the little panda. <gasps> He's darling. Now, I recognize this because Dolores at Miss Damn Jewelry has been teaching us some things through her haul videos. So make sure that you check out Dolores at Miss Damn Jewelry. I am going to um, link her channel below. Here is, now this one is broken, the wing, but it's a little, I don't know if this is, it might be wood, I don't know, but it's a little angel. I like that. And there's some other little pieces in here. Oh, look at this little lamb. Look at that little sheep. It looks like a little Irishman. See, it's got the little hat right here with the four leaf clover. Y'all, that's darling for a little tiered tray. Got the little clothes on it. It's not marked. I think this is either polymer clay or something. But y'all, that is darling. I might keep that one, a little shelf sitter. All right, let's see. Here is a supposed poodle, maybe. You tell me, what is that? What is that? All right, let's see what it says. Uh, made in England, something shire. It's three letters, 
Staffordshire. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten already with the angel. But look, here's the angel's wing. So a little bit of super glue and we will have her flying back in no time. Look at this little baby, y'all. <gasps> Wouldn't she be cute and in a little assemblage? She is darling. I love that. Oh, I love it. Um, here's a little Santa, little miniature. That's cute. Um, here is a little, now this might be pewter. It's a little pewter bunny. Look at the little pewter, but I think that's pewter. I could be wrong, but let me know if you think it's pewter. A little long-eared bunny. I've got some little pieces in here. Oh, this looks like a necklace or a rosary or, I think it's a rosary. Yeah, this is a rosary. So here's a little rosary in here, and it's metal. It's all metal. It looks like an older one. It does look like an older rosary. I have some friends that can help me date these um, here in my school and everything, and it still does have Christ on the cross. Um, so yeah, I'll have somebody, because that one does look like a vintage rosary. Okay, let's see what else. There's still more in this bag, y'all. Here is, this looks like a little ornament of some kind, a little fish. It looks worse for wear, but perfect for a doodad tray. And it's got this little, it's older because of the little hook-like thing. And the, I don't know what it's made out of. Maybe wood? I don't know. But why is he so mad? Why is he so mad? Because you're by yourself with all these dogs in here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pieces so far, but there's also this one. Now, I think he has a little flower, and this says 1972 Muffet B. Smith. Look how cute that is. Let me see, and down in here, is there a flower? Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the little flower, the little purple flower, and so I will glue it right here. I'll glue the little purple flower right there in his mouth. So he's cute. I like him. All right, y'all. So now comes all the good stuff. I saved the best for last in here. First of all, let's look at these because now that I've taken some things out, I'm seeing a bunch of these. Now, just by the looks of them, right? These are little gnomes. The way that they are glazed, the... Uh, hatched bottom here. These remind me of Wade Whimsies. That's why I thought maybe that other one was a Wade. But there is one little gnome. There is two little gnomes. Now, I don't know if all the Wade gnomes were multicolored um, or they can be these, but I'm going to look them up. You know that some people have Wade Whimsies that are not Wade marked. And I think the really small ones that are stamped Wade. Okay, this came from Tun Stalls Gift Shop and Flyer Mar Flower Market. And made in, see, look right here. Made in, I, I can't see that. But here, this was 425 no. This was $4.25 or $7.25 for one of these. But I don't know if they're weighed or not. I can't say that they're weighed. Um, but I have another one. Okay, so I got five gnomes. I got one, two, three, four, five. So I got five gnomes. Even if that was all that was in the bag, these would have been $2 a piece. So, so far, let me know in the comments if you think that I did well at $10. But wait, there's more. Okay, so let's look at the two pieces of brass that are in here. I'm starting to see what they are now that I can see through there. But y'all, brass, Cheshire Cat. Look how cute that is. Brass Cheshire Cat, and it's a door knocker. That is darling. And then I have another one that looks like a house. Oh, it says the old curiosity shop. Look right here. The old curiosity shop. 
and it looks like it's got a bunch of stuff out here. It is also a door knocker and it says Portsmouth Street, London. Oh, wow. But those two, this one is much heavier. It's a much thicker piece of brass than this one. But look, Scott, I found one that says the old curiosity shop. All right, are you ready for the last piece? Are you ready? Oh, it is what I thought it was. And I'm super excited. Y'all, it is a Fenton hand painted by T. Ugh, I don't know. But there's the Fenton mark right here. Hand painted, there's the signature. And I'm going to put it on the screen because of the name. I'll put it on the screen right there. I can't remember, but it's like a Burmese cat, something Burmese cat. It is beautifully hand painted. No chips or cracks in this. I mean, it's scuffed up. Yeah, that's the seam. That's the seam right there. I think that's a seam. Yeah, because it goes all the way. It goes all the way and then all the way around. So look at the beautiful hand painting. The ears are not chipped. I cannot believe that this survived. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and I will have to be careful in cleaning it up because of the hand painting. But I think this is almost like a custard glass. So I'm gonna pull out my black light and let's see what happens when I put the black light on it. Oh, y'all, it glows. Oh, my gosh. Holy Toledo. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This was in the $10 bag. This was in this bag with all this other stuff. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put the comps right here on the screen to show you what they are selling for. Oh, and it is in perfect perfect condition. I cannot believe that this was in the bag. I, I just, I can't believe that. I, I'm blown away. So for $10, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 pieces. So that's almost like what, 50 cents a piece, something like that. Um, let me put the math right down here. Yeah, it's like a little less than 50 cents a piece. 50 cents. Now, these are much smaller. So even if I grouped all of the little pieces into one, that would be 20 pieces. If I grouped all the little one, the fish, the angels and all that, that would be 20 pieces for $10. That would be 50 cents a piece, y'all. I cannot believe it. So, if you enjoyed this shop along and seeing what was in the goodie bags, I'm starting to love these goodie bags, y'all. I really am. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family and be notified every time I go live or I upload a video like this one. <gasps> this was so much fun. So I think I spent $10, $15, y'all, for all of the things, including the fairy lamp, all of these dogs, and this Fenton cat, um, and the pandas, and the little... Uh, passport thing. So I don't think that that was a bad quick stop through Goodwill. That just shows you that it's really important to go frequently and to drop in. Even if you can do a quick scan, you never know what you're going to find. So again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to, to leave me a comment. What was your favorite thing? What did you think about the bag? What did you think about the shopping in general? It really does help me understand what kind of content you like. The thumbs up and the subscribe and and the comments below all help my channel to grow. And I'm trying to get to 2,000, y'all, so I can release some merch. And I'm super excited about that. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.